It's already won. The game is done. You will never get the knowledge of the Kafur. If you can, if you can defeat this Salin, then you will, you will get the knowledge. But this Salin already defeated you, niggas. It's over. It's a wrap. You will never, ever, ever, ever get it. So they have to, they, they have to settle for what they're doing right now. All right. We can't get that knowledge. We can't get, because again, why can't they get the knowledge of the fire of the Kafu? I explained to you guys. Those who have the entire science of the Kafur are those who have mastered anger and all the adjunct emotions. The true masters of fire, not the masters of light, not the masters of information, not the masters of ritual. In other words, no matter how much you niggas think you have power and you have control and you've taken over nature, there's some spheres of knowledge that you guys will never have. You've never pierced the Haitian, the doors of the Taino people. Although you try to, you put the hatred, the Haitian people in a comatose state where they became zombies of the church, of the Freemasons, of the Catholic church, of the Christianity. And you tried to bring your entities, but even then, even with that, those people or even on those people, you can never access the Taino egregore. You will never have the knowledge. We will never give it away. You niggas is weak. We will never give it. You will never, ever, ever. And guess what? I gotta be honest. There's a bunch of people that are Haitian mother, Haitian father, that are not Haitian. They're not Haitian. They're traitors. They're tr even though they carry, you see, even though they carry the Haitian DNA or the Haitian blood, the frequency in their blood betrays them. Ah, you might be incarnated in a Haitian body. You might have the Taino blood in your, in your veins, but you ain't got the frequency. You ain't got the frequency and we could tell by your actions. You're not from us. You look like us. You're Haitian, you eat the same food as us, you have the same uh, culture, you're, but you're not from us. And that's what we've been fighting in Haiti. There's a lot of infighting because not only there's entities coming from outside, we also got to watch for the fake ass Haitians that have the blood, but are not from us. So those who try to infiltrate are still the victims of their base desires. That's why Kenya is trying to go in Haiti because they're still trying to get to that knowledge either by taking the souls, either by possessing the people. But guess what? This Salin already won that shit. That shit has been fortified. Even when they came in 1492, our mystical doors were closed and many other places in the world. Don't get it twisted. Many other places in the world have closed their mystical doors and have never been invaded. Don't let the state of the world fool you. Don't let these people make you believe they're all powerful and they have all the power and they have all the technology and they have all the money and the wealth and the control. Bullshit. They ain't got shit. They need to harvest souls because the moment that they can't harvest souls, they can't continue. They can't continue their process. They can't bargain. So they really want to get souls to bargain. So I'm telling you, if you don't remember anything from this video, I'm telling you, trust yourself. Do not get initiated. Nobody can give you knowledge that you do not already possess. Take your time. Honestly, I'll be real with you. One of the main reasons of blood sacrifices, people always speak about blood sacrifices. Oh, this person sacrificed. No, you don't, you, you don't understand. So if I go to a Asian restaurant, I'm going to eat the food. I'm going to enjoy the food, but superficially, why? Because unlike the, the Asian person, 
I don't have ancestors that have been eating this cuisine for thousands or hundreds of thousands of years. So automatically when they eat, their ancestors eat. So when I eat, Ogu eats. When I eat, Bosu eats. When I eat, Agwe eats. That's why in Haiti they say, oh, the Guinea. When they say Guinea in Haiti, they mean the loi that you naturally inherit from your forefathers and your foremothers. The loi that are, they don't need, they say, oh, Guinea, pas besoin rien. You could give them a cup, a cup of coffee per year and they're fine. They don't need anything. Why? Because they are you. When you eat, they eat. But something that is external, because it is external, when you're asking an entity that is from Freemasonry or from Africa or from there or from there to have an impact physically, they don't have the frequency. They don't have the, the energetic connection to the bloodline to be able to manifest something for you physically. Therefore, some blood has to be spilled whether it's someone in your family, somebody close to you, some blood has to be spilled so that entity has enough power to manifest what you're asking them. So the bloodshed that you're seeing in Haiti is because all of these other entities from other pantheons that are not connected to the DNA. Because think about it. The reason why they have to go get outside shit from out from other places is very simple because you got Dumbala. He has Dumbala. Yes, it's Dumbala from his own habitation, but nonetheless, it's still Dumbala. He's sending something to kill you, but he has Baron. You have Baron also. So in the end, you guys are gonna have to learn how to mediate stuff. So to bypass that. Some people are like, you know, fuck that. No, I want to get this nigga. But you, you can't get him through Guinea. What you have to do, go get initiated. Go get something that is external so that you could kill that person. Because that, that outside entity is not connected to the bloodline. It's not connected to you guys. It doesn't give a fuck. You ask it for something, pay it. Okay, it's going to get rid of him or her. So that's my other advice. As much as possible, find entities that are from your bloodline, but specifically positive, moral, divine entities that you can work with. As do not work with entities that you don't know are connected to you. So even me, I made a, vi a video about Erzuli Freda, I have to be honest. Perhaps as an American, indigenous American, you are working with an entity where she is the equivalent of Freda, but the entities of her and Freda do not, do not, are, are not uh, compatible. Not saying that Freda will kill you, but they're just not compatible. So find your roots. Find your roots. Stop calling on entities from other pantheons. Because like, like many scholars and many occultists have said, all the gods at one point, or most of the gods that we call on at one point, they were humans. So when you're calling upon a human that is not from yours, that is not directly from you, you risk, you risk bloodshed. You risk opening the doors to your egregore, to other external forces. The only thing you need is yourself. Go within yourself. Go within your astrological birth chart and find out what entities, what energies are for you, for you, for you. A lot of people may totally disagree, say, yo, I've been calling this Archangel, I've been working with those entities i've been working with this i've been working with that i've been if that works for you fine but me i'm specifically talking from the point of view of being not only cautious but efficient the way that they thought us this this spiritual shit is not what it seems we thought it was a free-for-all yeah i called this from here and called this from here and called this so much so that at the end 
Bobby Hemet, the great Bobby Hemet, the master Bobby Hemet, said the gods are nothing but pictures and statues on the wall. Work with your own energy. Put your own trust in yourself. He said, I do not want to misguide anyone. So as his final message, he said, the gods are nothing but pictures on the wall. So all this calling out entities from there, from there, from there, from those pantheons and blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, it's not going to work in your favor. If you... Man, if you know, you know. If you, if you see, you see. A lot of people, a lot of so-called occultists that you might see and you think, oh, he's advanced. Believe me, if you actually saw what they looked like, really what they looked like, you'd be petrified. Meaning you wouldn't be petrified as if you were scared. You'd be like, what the fuck? I thought that person was so elevated. I thought that person was so full of... Nah. The methodology has to change. Ultimately, it has to come down to you. Study your astrological birth chart. Study yourself. Trust no one but your own self. All the answers are within yourself. The only initiation is the initiation of life. You have to learn from life. That's what the Taino people are doing and we were always doing. Meaning that you can't inherit power. Did you work? Did you learn the lesson? Did you control your anger? Did you go within and say, why did I do this? Why did I do that? Did you learn yourself? The only initiation is the initiation of life and you get what you work for. That's it. Do not count on any outside source. Whatever you're working with, work with stuff that is from within your own bloodline. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find the ancient names. Find the ancient rituals. Find the ancient systems, the ancient settings, this relig this, um, this spiritual shit is not a religion. This shit is real and it's all based and it all starts with the ancestry, but your real ancestry. Okay. So now my phone is a cutting. So that was the video, how your ancestors watch you like television the Africanization of the Taino people. Trust yourself. Don't trust anyone with your spirituality. Trust yourself. Call on the elements. Purify the elements. And do, do the actual work for yourself. Please do not get initiated. I'll repeat again. Do not get initiated. You're not getting anything that you don't already have. All right? So that's the video.